Here we have it. <clears throat> um, the saga continues. This isn't Star Wars, although Last Jedi was crap. Original trilogy is, is still the best trilogy of all time. Coutinho still wants to move to Barcelona. So where are you right now? Rumor. Rumor, rumor, rumor. Nothing is set in stone. These are all rumors. There has been no bid made. But the rumor, let's go with rumor. Barcelona say 130. The fee believed is 145. 130 has been thrown around, but the, but the fee that has been thrown around, again, rumor, 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 is 145. People's thinking is logically, it's continues is leaving. This, this is a fact. He's, he's not, he will not be a Liverpool player next season. That's, that's not happening. But the belief is that a greedy fee in January, he leaves in the summer because Liverpool need him to secure top four this season. He cannot play in the Champions League. Barcelona have already won La Liga because Real Madrid are crap and they've got a dude called Brahim Krapzima as their striker. Every coin has two sides. There's no point in me making this um, upload without offering the other side. What is the other side? Valverde wants to do battle on three fronts. He doesn't have a deep squad quality-wise. Quality-wise. Denis Suarez is crap. David De Fios is crap. Those guys are crap. I don't care what anyone says. You get Coutinho. He allows Iniesta to rest. He allows digestive biscuits to, to rest. You know, the, these guys play a lot. Iniesta doesn't, can't give in. I can't remember the last time Iniesta gave Barcelona 90 minutes. It allows those guys to rest. And it means that they... Barcelona can now really focus on La Liga and Copa del Del Rey and allow Iniesta and Digestive Biscuits to come into the Champions League fully refreshed because I think Barcelona can win the trouble. It's a, it's a possibility, but it's, it will be much harder because Iniesta is crucial. He's crucial and you're seeing how well he's playing. But he's getting older. He can't give in 90 minutes. And if you want Iniesta to play Copa del Rey, La Liga and Champions League, that's going to be tough, especially against Chelsea, which is a physical team. That's going to be tough. That's just the reality. So, I that's the argument for them getting him in January. I don't see this happening in in general because I've been looking at Twitter. I've been I, I watched the ESPN FC videos, and it doesn't make for Liverpool's point of view. It doesn't make sense to sell him in January because you need him for top 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 four. They can get top four with Houghton, but with them, it's a lot. It's a, it's a, it's a lot more doable. And I think for Arsenal, who've been slipping, you know, because you look at it, City have already won the the league. I think it's going to be between United and Chelsea. Well, it looks like maybe Chelsea may, may get second. United probably third, and fourth is a three way race between Tottenham, Arsenal, and Liverpool. And the thing with Arsenal, man, remember how crap they were last season and they only lost that bit on the last match of the season. So Arsenal are always a tough team for that whole top top four. So that's why I just think that, you know, like this is this is gonna happen in the summer. And I think for people This will probably be the second most shocking transfer move in recent mem memory. If it happens in January. The most shocking move, of course, was the Luis Figo move to um, Barcelona to Real. This could arguably be the second most shocking because if it happens in general, because if this happens in January, you it'll be mind-boggling from Liverpool's point of view. So we wait and we see. I'm going to be monitoring the situation. If anything changes, I will definitely keep you all up to, to date. But yeah, man, we'll monitor this very, very closely. Um, yeah, man, a hundred and... 45 mil for a guy called Philippe. Interesting.